The battle of high-end gaming headsets is getting a little bit more interesting today with the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro. On paper, this seems very similar to a headset that I've been a pretty big fan of, the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. It is wireless, it has ANC, it has Bluetooth, it even has swappable batteries in here. So if one runs out, you just pop a new one in. But there are definitely some key differences. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with 9to5toys. Now on paper, this $330 headset does have everything that makes it a top tier wireless gaming headset. It does come in two different versions. We have the Xbox version here. There is also a PlayStation version available. One thing to note here, the Xbox version will also work on PlayStation as well. It's just more Xbox themed, uh, designed for Xbox. So if you want the ultimate in you know usability, able to be used across all the different platforms, the Xbox version might be the way to go, especially considering that the price point is the same between the two different versions. All right, now let's dive into design. And before we talk about the headset, we're gonna talk about the charging station over here. So as you can see, right on top is that swappable battery. You just pull it out and then you can swap it with the dead one that is in the headset. Now, otherwise on here, there isn't a whole lot of functionality to this charger. There is an LED ring around the entire thing that will change colors to help with status. It's blinking red right now because I have the microphone muted. So if I were to put this down, We'll switch over to green, let you know that everything is good to go there. And then on the back of here, there is a USB-C port. That's for connecting to your computer. An extra USB-A charging port if you wanna charge the headset or something else. And then a switch to go between Xbox and PC modes. Now, this is you know one other feature that makes it kind of similar to the Nova Pro Wireless, which also has its own little hub that would connect your computer that charges the battery in it, but the Nova Pro Wireless also has a screen on here that will display some different um, information about your headset. You can make some tweaks to it. You can change the volume with this knob. So there's more functionality on the Nova Pro Wireless, but the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro charging station pretty much just handles charging the battery. All right, and moving on to the design of the headset. Thankfully, in my opinion, it's a departure from the design aesthetic of some of the earlier stealth headsets. Those were very gamery. You know, you could kind of tell that this was like an Xbox or a PlayStation headset. With the Stealth Pro though, they've gone for a little bit more of a classy kind of design. It almost has that, uh, you know, official Xbox headset or maybe even a Lucid Sound headset design to it with this metal ring that's kind of going around the ear cup here. Overall, you know, putting them on, it still is a big headset. Like, it's pretty wide, even by, you know, high-end gaming headset standards. Maybe the Sony Inzone H9s would be a little bit bigger, but you know, that's a pretty, a pretty wide profile there on the ear cup. It does have Bluetooth as well, so you can use this on the go. It's also intended for mobile gaming, um, kind of your one headset to rule them all. So if you want to, you can take off this removable microphone, and then you just have a headset that's a little bit cleaner, although it is still, that larger profile. So kind of got to figure out, you know, if that's something you want to take with you or not. And underneath that removable microphone is also the swappable battery in here. So pretty easy to take that out and pop the new one in when the battery is depleted. And that's just held on with a couple little magnets on there. So very easy to find and take off. Only thing inconvenient there is that if you are gaming and you need to swap the battery and you're using the microphone, you have to, you know, take off the microphone, take off this cover, then swap out the battery. So it takes a little bit more effort than something like the Nova Pro Wireless, which you still have to take a cover off, but the microphone is not in the way there. And continuing with design over on the right ear cup is where we have all of the controls. So one of the main features is this whole ring can rotate out here. They're calling this their wheel. And by default, this has a couple different modes if you're on PC mode or on Xbox. 
on PC, that will change the overall volume. If you're on Xbox mode, that will change the chat game mix. And these features can be customized from within the Turtle Beach Audio Hub V2 app. So if you want that to do some different functionality, you can program that in there. We'll take a look at that here in a second. In the middle is another button that can be configured. And by default, this is set to toggle on and off ANC. Just tap it and you'll hear a little beep and it'll turn on. Tap it again, you'll hear another beep and it will turn off. And then along the bottom here are three more buttons. You know, first we'll see a USB-C charging port here, and then you will notice the first button which has a little bit of texture to it, and that is the superhuman hearing mode button. So once again, pushing that will toggle the superhuman hearing mode on and off. And we'll talk about what that does to EQ, but basically it just makes it so you can pick up footsteps and gunshots easier. And then also if you hold that button for two seconds, it will mute the microphone and then you can hold it for another two seconds and it will unmute the microphone. One note on that, you know, if you have the removable microphone installed, you can also just flip up the microphone to mute it, but the headset also has built-in microphones, you know, so if you are on the go, you're not using the boom mic, you can use the built-in microphone there and then you can mute it by holding that button for two seconds if you want. Next up, we have a power button and then we have the Bluetooth button. And that's it as far as physical controls on the headset itself. All right, and now let's move on to comfort. Obviously one of the most important things when it comes to gaming headsets because typically you're wearing these for longer sessions at a time. And they did go with some very big and plush ear pads on here. You know, that was one of my biggest complaints, really my only complaint with the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless was that, you know, because of the depth of those ear cups, I could feel the ANC bumps, you know, pressing up against my ears. It wasn't until I put some aftermarket ear cushions on there from Wicked Cushions that I actually felt like this headset was usable for me for comfort for long term. Uh, that is not the case with the Stealth Pro. There is plenty of padding in here. Uh, definitely did not feel any ANC bumps on my ears when I was wearing these. You know, despite how deep and plush these are, I do still get the slightest bit of contact from the tops of my ears up against the driver covers, but it was never something that was uncomfortable. And I attribute that to the fact that these do have pretty considerable clamping force. And that is something I would say that older stealth headsets have also had from Turtle Beach. So if you've used one in the past and it's felt like it's maybe had too tight of a grip on your head, I would say that this would maybe be similar to that. That really is my only complaint with the Stealth Pro when it comes to comfort, is that it does have some pretty good clamping force. Now that clamping force does also help with passive noise cancellation, but when it comes to comfort, that is something to consider. Otherwise, you know, the ear cups rotate 90 degrees so you can lay it flat. Obviously have, you know, a nice expanding headband here. Um, pretty nice rotation in there, they rotate 90 degrees and they also rotate the other way a few degrees. So definitely going to be usable by different head shapes. Across the headband on top, there's plenty of plush comfort there. Um, and so really I, I found these to be comfortable for longer gaming sessions. I will say directly comparing between the two, I did find the Nova Pro Wireless with the Wicked Cushions ear pads, not the stock setup, I found that to be more comfortable than the Stealth Pro, but I had no issues using this for longer gaming sessions. All right, now let's move on to how does it sound. Stock out of the box, it does come with different EQ presets that you can change from the app, but the one that's active when you get it out is their signature sound, and that's my favorite way to listen to this headset. It's full of deep bass, but it also still packs the clarity that's necessary for gaming these days. Being able to pick out different you know, footsteps if you're playing an FPS game, being able to hear different cars around you if you're playing a racing game. I felt that it had enough depth to it to be immersive, but still the clarity there necessary for gaming. And taking a quick look at the hardware, they are using 50 millimeter drivers on here with a frequency response of 10 to 22,000 Hertz. So nice wide frequency response there. That is above and beyond what a lot of wireless headsets do, which usually just go 20 to 20,000 Hertz. So it's impressive to see a little bit more there from Turtle Beach. Now touching back on the clarity for gaming, you know, it didn't necessarily blow me away when compared to like the Nova Pro Wireless or other high-end ANC gaming headsets that I've tried. 
but I did notice some new details in playing some other games that I hadn't noticed before. Like when playing Assetto Corsa Competizione, uh, I could hear cars around me a little bit more, or maybe I was just paying more attention to it, but I felt like I was a little bit more aware of my surroundings and the positions of different racers when I was playing. Typically, I use the HyperX Alpha Cloud Wireless when I am playing that game, so you know maybe it was just hopping over to something that's a little bit higher end that made that a little more present, but um, it was something that I noticed when I was using this headset. Otherwise, playing Battlefield 2042, you know, was just a lot of fun with this headset because of that nice wide range in there where you're still getting all of the deep impactful, you know, explosions and everything going on in that often chaotic game. But then you're also getting the clarity that's necessary for picking out footsteps as enemies are approaching and gunshots and where different people are located. So um, really, really enjoyed this headset for gaming. And also on the music side of things, I thought that this headset sounded great. You know, once again, pretty much the song that I always test uh, headphones and headsets on, Missed by Protest the Hero, sounded great in here. Plenty of stereo separation for picking out different guitars in a cluttered metal track. And also like the mids were present. Sometimes mids can be either too high or also too low on gaming headsets, depending on how they're tuned. Um, but you know, that signature sound stock out of the box. I felt that the Stealth Pro did those very well um, for guitars on metal tracks. But at the press of a button, you know, without even using the app, you can go into that superhuman hearing mode, which that's something that's been around on, you know, Turtle Beach's headsets for quite a long time. And I've talked about that in some previous reviews. And although it kind of destroys the natural landscape of, you know, the sound profile that uh, these audio engineers have created in their games, it does help to keep you hyper-focused on footsteps and gunshots and kind of get a competitive edge there. Now, another big feature of this headset is that it has ANC, active noise canceling, and that's something that we've seen on the Nova Pro Wireless and some other high-end gaming headsets as well. Now, in my experience, you know, pushing that button and turning it on, it does change the EQ a little bit, and you notice that right away. And it could just be that it's kind of minimizing some of the lower frequencies, that's kind of what it sounds like it's doing, but that also kind of helps to accentuate some of the mids as well. So I found myself really enjoying the sound when the ANC was enabled. I typically like a, you know, a little bit more of a flatter sound response when I'm listening to music and listening to gaming. So uh, that was right up my alley. As far as just ANC in general and blocking out background noise, it does okay, you know, compared to some of the ANC heavy hitters like uh, AirPods Max from Apple or, you know, Sony XM5s, you know, those do ANC much better than their own, you know, realm and league of their own. This is helpful for knocking out, you know, if you have an air conditioner or a fan going or something like that, this is very helpful for knocking out that sound so you can focus on the gaming audio a little bit more. You know, during the summer, I actually use ANC quite a bit because I'm in my small uh, studio here that's above a garage and I usually have an AC or a fan running in the in here. So having some sort of ANC to knock out that noise is pretty helpful. One thing I noticed though, you know, when testing with uh, turning on an airplane cabin noise on my speakers and testing ANC. It seemed like every time I moved my head, the ANC had to readjust a little bit, which was a new experience I hadn't noticed with other ANC headsets. So, you know, it would always catch up and get there, but it was like it had to adjust to those different changes every time I moved my head. So that was something that was interesting in here. Granted, I usually don't move my head a whole lot when I am actually gaming, so it's not that big of an issue, but it was something interesting that I noticed. All right, now we're gonna hop over to my PC. We'll take a look at the Turtle Beach Hub app and also test out the microphone and see what all we can do there. So here we are in the Turtle Beach Audio Hub V2 app. We are recording on the microphone from the Stealth Pro, so you can get a good idea of what that sounds like. And we are at the dashboard uh, tab here, and so you can kind of see there are some overall controls for the headset here. You can change the EQ preset, Signature sound, which is my favorite. There are also built-in presets like bass boost, bass and treble boost, vocal boost, and your own custom profile. There are also separate controls for a treble boost, a bass boost, and a vocal boost. And then a game chat mix, which is only available on Xbox mode. Beneath that, you can see there is active noise cancellation, which I do have enabled. And you can toggle that between ANC and ambient. 
So if you'd rather just have it be an ambient mode, uh, when you toggle that button by pushing the button on the side of the headset, you can do that as well. Personally, I would use ANC more than an ambient mode, so I'll leave it set there. And then we have microphone settings. There are different EQ presets here. You can see I'm using a custom preset right now. You can turn on a noise gate. I'll do some kind of tappy tappy on <laughs> my keyboard here. See here how that sounds. We'll turn on the noise gate and see how that sounds, 50%. And then we'll go up to like 80%. So hopefully you can hear how that sounds. All right, and I will turn that back off. We have microphone sensitivity, which when recording in Adobe Audition, I felt like I had to have this pretty much cranked up all the way to get decent volume coming through there. It did seem a little bit quiet. And then there's also mic monitoring. You can turn on or off or dial up and down. And then we have superhuman hearing mode, which there are three different modes available, legacy, footsteps, and gunshots. And then of course you can also adjust the level of that, which is nice because that can be a kind of harsh audio mode. And so being able to adjust how much of it you have in the headset is really nice. Moving over to the next tab, we have equalizer. And there are three different sub tabs for Bluetooth, game, and mic. So we'll go back to Bluetooth. Um, once again, kind of all the same sound modes in there. You can also create your own custom one if you want. Then we'll go over to game. You can make your own custom profile here if you want. And then lastly, we have mic, which uh, as you can see, there are the separate sounds. We're using the profile that I created here now. You can make adjustments to it. You can also do these stock sounds. So here is what the signature sound sounds like from the Stealth Pro. Here is the full sound, which this is kind of where I started with my custom profile and then tweaked it a little bit and then there is clarity which this kind of reminds me of a more standard wireless gaming headsets you know what those usually sound like there's more of an emphasis on clear comms rather than a natural voice and then there is smooth and then lastly my custom profile as well so going over to the customize tab here you can change some functions of the headset there's auto shut off which you can change to something else if you don't want it at 30 minutes change the levels of the voice prompts and tones and then there is function remapping down here for both the wheel and the button on the right ear cup so there are two different modes so for pc mode and for console mode which you can change in between those and here it says mic monitor volume for the wheel but that's not right it's controlling the overall volume as i just just the wheel you'll see over here that the volume goes up and down like the main master volume so it's not adjusting the mic monitor volume I'm not sure why it says that um, there is here you can change the function of that side button so active noise cancellation noise gates cycle game presets multifunction and then console mode uh, it's set to the game chat mix by default and then there are different functions you can also turn on and off there as well as with the button. So a lot of customizability there. Lastly, there are hotkeys here if you want to set some hotkeys on your keyboard to assign to control some different functions. I also wanted to show off how well the mobile app works with this as well. So I have it connected to my iPhone as well as on my PC. And if I make any changes here on my iPhone, you'll see that it updates on the PC as well. So you saw superhuman hearing mode pop on there or we saw noise cancellation, A and C here. We'll turn on superhuman hearing mode as well. And you can see that those are also popping on on the PC app as well. So really seamless, you know, all of the customizability that we saw within the app on the computer, it's all here in the app as well. So very cool, lots of customization here. All right, moving on to battery life. It's rated to 12 hours per battery on here. So with the two batteries, you get 24 hours, but even that, uh, it feels kind of limited by today's standards. A lot of headsets are gonna be getting more hours than that. So it is nice to have the swappable battery. It would be nicer if it was a more convenient way of actually swapping that battery. Um, so, I mean, 12 hours, I would think that most people, like that won't be an issue, but that is a smaller number. You know, the Nova Pro Wireless, I think those batteries are rated to like 20 hours per battery. So um, basically about, you know, almost double what you're getting in here. So 
Something to keep in mind, it's not the biggest issue. It would be less of an issue if the swapping the battery, the process was easier while you were gaming. So, you know, talking about this versus the Nova Pro Wireless, you know, this is kind of a specific need for me, but when I am streaming, which I do not super frequently, but I do sometimes, um, I'm using this headset plugged into the Razer audio mixer, which requires a 3.5 millimeter connector on the front. And so the Nova Pro Wireless has a 3.5 millimeter port on here that you can use that. That's one thing that's lacking on the Stealth Pro. Once again, I feel like that's a specific need for me and how I use these headsets, but that also, you know, makes the Nova Pro Wireless even a little bit more universal because you can also use it with a 3.5 connection, which the Stealth Pro lacks. Granted, the Nova Pro Wireless is more expensive, starting at $350, and out of the box, um, it wasn't very comfortable for me. I had to spend another what, $37 on the Wicked Cushions ear pads to get this to a point where I think it should be <laughs> straight out of the box. So all in, this is, you know, $387 with the headset and the ear pads. That's a lot of money for this. So if you don't have those specific needs, you know, for $330, the Stealth Pro is a really solid performing headset. So overall wrapping up here, you know, these are expensive gaming headsets, but they're kind of set as the, you know, do it all. Like given the different platforms you can play games on these days, you know, these headsets, you can pretty much play on any of them, even more so the Nova Pro Wireless because of that 3.5 millimeter. So I love seeing these new headsets coming out. You know, it's nice to be able to take one from PC to Xbox to your phone when you're on the go and have, you know, incredible sound quality and also Bluetooth in here for simultaneous connectivity there. Just some really great features built into these. So the Stealth Pro from Turtle Beach is a really solid headset in my opinion. Um, you know, given the choice between the two, I would take the $187 version of this with the aftermarket ear pads, but uh, I would still be happy with the Stealth Pro as well. It's very solid headset. All right, well, that's gonna do it for our review of the Stealth Pro from Turtle Beach. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you're looking for some other videos to watch, I'll link to our Wicked Cushions video on the Nova Pro Wireless, as well as our most recent video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it easier and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. to Five Toys.